Hi, my name is Doug Peterson from Digital Transitions. We are the Phase 1 Partner of the Year for 2017, and we have offices in New York and LA. I'm here to talk about the Phase 1 IQ3 100 megapixel trichromatic. It's a new digital back in Phase 1's IQ3 line that features a new color pattern over the sensor. The back itself is very similar to the Phase 1 IQ3 100 megapixel that preceded it, but it features a new type of color array over each pixel in the, in the sensor, on the sensor. The story of how this came about has a lot to do with what Phase 1 does as a company and how they sit at the intersection of hardware development and software development. Niels Knudsen, the head color scientist of Phase 1, has spent decades profiling other people's cameras as well as Phase 1 cameras. Those cameras go into Capture One with a unique color profile developed by hand for each individual camera. Those decades of experience worth of profiling other people's cameras has given Phase One a lot of experience with exactly what allows a good camera versus a great camera when it comes to color. And since Phase One has a unique and very deep relationship with Sony, they're able to take that information, that knowledge about color array filters and color profiles and color rendition, and help partner with Sony in order to make a new type of color filter that cuts out a lot of the compromises they've seen in other cameras. Those compromises include things like sensitivity to parts of the spectrum the human eye don't see. UV light, slightly below blue, and infrared light, slightly above red, as well as light that's inside of the visible spectrum but should not be seen by the other colors. So for example, red pixels should not see not only UV light, they should also not see deep blue light. Blue pixels should not see infrared light, but they should also not see near-infrared reddish light. And in a lot of color filter arrays, what we've noticed over years and years of profiling is a lot of color filter arrays have those sorts of sensitivities. In addition, color filters should be relatively narrow. There needs to be overlap between them. The red needs to see a little bit across into green, and green needs to see a little bit across over into blue. But the type of overlap, the style of overlap, the amount of overlap, the steepness of that kind of curve, those are all elements that you need more than just the theory behind. There's been a lot of companies that have spent a lot of time talking about researching the theory of those cover over, color overlaps, but there's not a lot of companies that also have the practical hands-on experience of trying to profile cameras that take different approaches with those overlaps. With Phase 1, with their experience with different kinds of color profiling for different kinds of cameras that take those different approaches, really knows how to get the best start to finish result. The trichromatic is the manifestation of that experience. And what you're going to notice is better color. Better color is very subjective. So what do I mean? I mean in specific types of subject matter that have specifically kind of problematic colors, you will see more natural, more correct, more accurate color coming out of the trichromatic than any camera you've used before. Specifically things like the deep blue of a blue sky. The sky is blue because it scatters blue light. Light comes in from the sun, most of it just keeps going past the earth, but parts of it, the blue part of the spectrum, also gets reflected to the earth. We see blue. Along with that blue comes a whole lot of UV and near UV light. That light needs to be only seen by the blue pixels, and with the trichromatic, it is only seen by the blue pixels, and you get a very pure blue sky, instead of a very slight magenta that you see in a lot of cameras. Green foliage, again, very specific spectral reflectivities, very specific kind of color, the trichromatic picks up those greens very, very nicely. Deep red leather, deep coffee beans, deep chocolate. These are elements that in a lot of cameras come through with just a little bit of artificial warmth. The trichromatic renders them perfectly brown. So, nuanced differences in some subject matters, some moderate differences in other subject matters. The main goal here is that phase one will go to any price, pay any amount of time, money, effort in R&D to get that last little bit of color accuracy, to get that last little bit of image quality. Phase One is a company all about image quality and making tools for professionals and discerning individuals doing photography. Digital Transitions has these at our New York and LA offices. We have them available anywhere in the United States by rental, by shipment, or for demo. If you'd like to see raw files, we have them available at digitaltransitions.com. And if you'd like to read more about what I've just been talking about, we have a very lengthy article published on both Luminous Landscape, which is luminous-landscape.com, or digitaltransitions.com in the blog. I'm Doug Peters with Digital Transitions. Thanks for listening.